This weekend, Nerd and Geek Cinema kicked off its two-week takeover with three brand spanking new movies. The competition is going to be fierce and brutal, so some are bound to get buried. Let's look at the results. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse made $35,400,000, making it the champion of not just nerd and geek movies, but the box office overall. Ralph Breaks the Internet gained the fourth spot for the weekend, adding 9589000 to its four-week total. Mortal Engines was the victim of this vicious battle, raking in only $7,501,000 in its first weekend. The movie is a passion project for Peter Jackson, reuniting him with Lord of the Rings star Hugo Weaving. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald did a solid fifth week, making 3650000 Once Upon a Deadpool may be considered a disappointment with only 2600000 in its first week, but with it being a re-edit, this is nothing but profit. Next weekend, the competition gets even more ruthless with Aquaman, Bumblebee, and Mary Poppins Returns joining the fray. Please post your reviews of any of these movies in the comments. What movies should we all rush to? Want to know who will be the voices involved in the upcoming Netflix prequel of The Dark Crystal? Leading the voice cast are Karen Egerton, Anna Taylor-Joy, and Natalie Emmanuel as Ryan, Brea, and Deet, three Gelfling heroes. Other Gelfling characters are voiced by Helena Bonham Carter, Eddie Izzard, Shazad Latif, and many more. Adding their voice talent to the Skeksis and Mystics are Mark Hamill, Keegan-Michael Key, Simon Pegg, Andy Samberg, and several others. Based on the original 1982 production of The Dark Crystal, The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is a prequel set many years before the events of the original movie. Netflix has announced a few details of what the plot will be. The world of Thra is dying. The Crystal Truth is at the heart of Thra, a source of untold power, but it is damaged, corrupted by the evil Skeksis, and a sickness spreads across the land. When three Gelfling uncover the horrific truth behind the power of the Skeksis, an adventure unfolds as the fires of rebellion are lit and an epic battle for the planet begins. Karen Gillan is out promoting The Party's Just Beginning that she is the director, writer, and star of. The movie is available on Amazon Prime now, but what we want to talk about are her words about Part 3 of Guardians of the Galaxy. In a recent interview with People Magazine, she talked about her role as Nebula and the future of the series without James Gunn. Our director won't be with us any longer, but we are excited to continue the Guardians of the Galaxy story and keep delivering to the fans. That's the most important thing. I don't have any details as to when the next Guardians film will come out, but there's a script in existence. There is no way James Gunn is coming back, so who do you think can save the Guardians of the Galaxy?